So uh, this Monday, um, the Enable Community Foundation launched a new uh, design challenge on GrabCAD, which is, is pretty exciting. Because um, GrabCAD is a massive community with uh, nearly 3 million uh, users, um, a significant uh, fraction of which, um, certainly I think their website sites uh, a little over a million uh, like practicing uh, engineers and designers. So um, it's a huge, um, tremendously talented community um, that regularly engages in these design challenges around uh, you know things uh, as a tourist, you know, kind of like aerospace brackets, um, you know, for, for Boeing, um, to uh, kayak seats, you know, all, all sorts of things. Um, and so we're really excited to work with uh, that that community um, to really kind of do some outreach and kind of recruitment um, to get folks who might not yet have heard about uh, Enable um, or might not have yet had kind of that critical nudge to um, you know, design something for Enable uh, to get involved. Um, so. The uh, details of the challenge, um, we are focusing on developing modular terminal devices that interface with the uh, International Committee for the Red Cross's ICRC's uh, wrist unit, which is a standard um, unit used in the manufacturing of a lot of low-cost uh, prostheses in international clinics. So both uh, transradial and uh, transhumeral devices um, often terminate with this, this wrist unit. Um, and then can receive a variety of uh, standard terminal devices. Um, uh, an interesting uh, study by the, the VA um, in, in 2012 um, indicated that actually um, there a lot of terminal devices haven't gotten better um, they, over the past uh, you know 20, 25 years. Um, they studied a variety of devices um, from 1987 and compared those with a variety of uh, modern terminal devices uh, from 2012. Um, and one of the kind of most striking results of the study was that um, for the set of uh, voluntary opening devices, they actually found that many devices had actually declined in performance uh, in terms of grip strength and activation strength um, and just overall mechanical efficiency. So there's a real opportunity to build on this, this standard international interface um, and you know, engage a much larger community of uh, designers to build kind of a new library of um, modular terminal devices that can either be active or passive, um, voluntary opening, voluntary closing, um, highly you know function specific or uh, generally cosmetic. Um, we're really you know uh, kind of casting a, a wide net here, and the goal is to really kind of create a new um, library of designs that the community can continue to iterate upon, refine, uh, and adapt to um, additional specific requirements. Um, but to start with a, uh, a very internationally uh, uh, used uh, standard interface, um, so that this work can be can be shared out uh, broadly. So um, we're super excited about that. Um, there are cash prizes for the uh, the top top five uh, winning winning designs, um, and a panel of judges um, that are equal parts uh, enable uh, community designers and. Um, uh, trained prosthetists, um, so we're really excited to kind of bring both both perspectives uh, to the table. Um, and uh, we've already had uh, four four device submissions uh, over the, the past five days, so things are, are looking really good. The challenge will be running until I believe the, I want to say the 18th, I should definitely know this off the top of my head, 20, 23 days left. Um, so another another about three weeks to uh, submit submit uh, entries. Um, so we're super excited about it. Um, definitely, it's open to absolutely everybody. Um, so please feel free to uh, throw a design in the ring. Um, we're looking forward to uh, to judging. All right. Um, any any questions um, from the community? I'll go ahead and uh, post the link um, in the, uh, the sidebar here so folks can uh, take a look. Um, but first a link to the challenge and then a link to um, a blog post with uh, a little more kind of background information um, uh, and also some more discussion about that uh, 2012 uh, VA study of uh, terminal device uh, mechanical efficiency.